Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Railway Empire 2 and back to Washington. That was declining in the last episode and we have stopped this. The city is growing again, that's because thanks to our new specialized uh, train system that we have now between Pittsburgh and Washington with a few terminals in the way, right, in between. Um, that are using kind of like now specialized trains that are just getting uh, those resources back and forth between the two of them. With that, however, we do face a new problem, right? With specialized trains, we face the problem that those farms uh, cannot produce enough anymore, right? So as we can see, they're mostly empty. They're fully utilized and they're producing 2.8 here, for example, per week. We can once again check this out, how much they actually need. And as we can see, Pittsburgh needs four, for example. Um, and Washington needs 0 0.8, so, uh, or sorry, 3.4. So in order to provide this, we need to have at least a production of 7. Now, of course, we still have this area over here as well that is providing. However, it's still not enough. So we need to go ahead and purchase these businesses now. That's 2.7 million for this Martin farm. Let's go ahead and do this. This opens up an auction once more. And with that, we earn it. Right. That's not all though. So now we're still producing the same amount. I want to upgrade this and we can resize our industry now to higher levels that produce more. This of course costs me quite a bit. Let's go ahead and start with level, actually let's make level 3 and with that we produce 11 per week. Uh, that is yeah more than enough, right? So the, the 5 is, too, is not enough. 11 is too much, but only for now. Let's resize this and with that... The farm is, well, changed a bit, a few more fields we have, and it's producing now faster grain. There is already the grain uh, trader coming in again, and let's just hope that we do have enough grain this time. I think not. <laughs> it's still not that much. Where is the production? Time is ticking, though. Yep, time is ticking. And it's loading the grain now, Syracuse, Philadelphia, because don't forget, we're not only delivering the grain here now to, yeah, and there it's, it's, it's gone again, so I think, yep. The storage was empty, right? It's filling up again, of course, but the train is leaving. Um, because we are not only delivering the grain to Washington, Washington has a warehouse that has the grain now in for um, the other the other cities, right? That are close to it. That is Philadelphia, very important. And Charlottesville down here, because they also don't have grain. So with that, I think we're just going to wait that a bit and just see how it goes, right? We're at seven. There's the next train coming in again. And most likely taking as much grain as possible with it again um, that we then will need to, to use. Um, nine. I would like to do the same thing for the sugar because this is empty too. Sugar is really not a high production there. It's only 1.6 per week, which is really not enough. So let's purchase that for 1.9 million. Really expensive for some cheap farms out here. And let's upgrade this one to, let's make it six. That's another 2 million. But it's totally worth it because it's boosting Not our city growth with that. And with that, we have a production of six. Myself. Now this gets to Washington and from here then to Philly and also to Charlottesville. Because they also need sugar, of course. Even though Charlottesville has the sugar up there. Well, then we just export it to New York. There you go. So with that, hopefully, we do have now a bit more steady supply of these goods coming in. And as we can see with all the exporting, we're also making a nice profit out of these farms. 12,000 per week on the Martin farm. That's something I like. With that, we are closing in on the 700,000. Um, and here we do have also 15,000 at the moment. So they're quite profitable as long as we keep exporting stuff. And this line that we created is also still working flawlessly. And there's lots of capacity available for more trains on it if I want to add them. We might actually consider, I think, yeah, Pittsburgh. And let's also create this route here for Pittsburgh because Pittsburgh does not have any sugar and this is going to be my sugar train number two. Um, we start at platform number three. This is where the other sugar train is also stopping, right? So they could block each other from time to time, but that's nothing severe and it goes to Pittsburgh. Then Pittsburgh is really busy at this point. Uh, yeah, the first three platforms are fully utilized. I think platform number five we can't get from this point. So let's go platform number four. Is that possible? Platform number four is possible. So let's go ahead and do this. And a new train is coming out with that. Sugar for Pittsburgh. Let's just hope that we can use all of it. Yeah, uh, we're still exporting more than we can produce. But it should even out. 0 0.5 only, right? and 2.1 in Washington. This is fine. We could do something else. 
We could do a warehouse. Or we, I mean, we already have a warehouse. No, we don't have a warehouse in Pittsburgh. Go ahead and build and use sugar in the warehouse of Pittsburgh so we can export that to the surrounding cities there as well. So we're specializing our outputs now a bit. I like that. I like how the game continues to surprise me with more mechanics. There's a breakdown here. Unfortunately, nothing I can do about that. In Washington, we should have though maintenance deep, right? Yeah, so please use that. Let's actually get the maintenance limit to 70 and transfer that to all. The higher the maintenance, let's actually get it to 80. This will just cost me more, but it leads to less breakdowns overall. All right, I was looking over here in Chicago, continues to grow the same with Toledo and Grand Rapids. So we got excellent growth. This is of course our latest tech that we've used, right? Here from ground up, we used hubs, getting specialized trains to the cities, into the warehouses and from there to the surrounding cities. So here we use this system already from the ground up and it's just working fantastically as not only do we have a nice flow of, of trains now, we also have lots of growth. So Chicago continues towards 100,000 here at the moment. But of course, this is not the exciting part about this episode. No, it is because we can finally continue with the researching. We're in 8040. We do have a bit of cash at hand right now. So I would finally like to go ahead and give my people a weather protection with the reindeer. And the reindeer already closely resembles the typical American locomotives of the years to come. And with its enlarged boiler and large driving wheels, it is well suited for fast passenger traffic. Let's go ahead and get this Check one on its way. And there we have the bugger. Um, oh, sorry. I would like to, before we use it, I would like to change its paint job. Hmm. This is a custom one, really. All right. It seems like I cannot use another paint job on this one. Custom. Uh, we could go with a red one. There you go, a nice red rocket on its way. And replace the engines. Okay, with the following filters, you can replace locomotives on multiple routes at once. And I want to use all of them. And this would cost me 4.5 million. And suitability only for the freight though. I think this was a freight one, right? It was, right? No, it's express actually. So quite the other, uh, quite the opposite. So this is going to be express. Here we have the freight. This, however, this is the GNM American. All right, it's smaller. Where's the other one? There was the limit. Go ahead and get this one here on its way too. I want to get this one for the freight transporters. Uh, how fast it is? 45 kilometers an hour, uh, as opposed to the other one that was 34. So we're speeding it up by another 10 kilometers an hour, more than that actually. And decreases the price of lo new locomotives let's also do this by five percent because we're going to replace quite a lot of them now this will save me a bit um and here we can actually unlock the new products then and i would actually you know what we do have the innovation points let's unlock paper mills allows you to build and buy and operate paper mills and produce paper and then we have the sponsorship by supporting local clubs and events the level of awareness of the company increases and it becomes easier to find new employees Another bonus to that. And then we can already go ahead with the next locomotive here, the Limit. And the Limit intended for use in the Alpine region basically corresponds to the American design of the Norris machines. Wood paneling is common for locomotives of this period. And there we have it, a new locomotive. And once again, also the sander, we can reduce the water, sand and oil consumption by locomotives by 5%. And boom, there we have it, the Philadelphia. Uh, the three powered axles and a large firebox give the Philadelphia high traction, but the rigid wheel arrangement allows only low speeds on winding roads. And this is another speed increase for my freighters, and it also now finally unlocks weather protection for my freighter locomotives. And we are bi basically just um, jumping over the limit and the GNM American here, right? Because both of them, I think, are not really that useful when we can just jump to the Philadelphia right away. And we can also further reduce the, the cost of, of maintenance with that. Mm. And I think that's it. Perfect. The Philadelphia it is for my freighters. Let's go ahead and now finally use this. So 
first of all, we have now Philadelphia and the reindeer. The reindeer is now the locomotive for all my all my express ones. So 30 <laughs> by the number, but it only costs me a million. There you go. And with that, we have this one here now on all those lines. And then we're going ahead with the Philadelphia. Oh, that's pink. Uh, we do have custom. Let's go ahead with a with a custom and let's make this one a bluish one. Should be or green. Let's go ahead with a dark greener tone for that. 96. Hmm. Let's keep this one white. Let's change this one a bit to the darker side. Perfect. I like that. And with that, let's also replace this on all freight lines. That's 2.5 million. 55 trains we change with that. Holy cow. And with just one click, we've done it. Amazing. Wasn't even that expensive. And there they are. And ladies and gents, I can't believe it. My, 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 my personnel, you're protected. We have weather protection. That's the most beautiful thing. Finally, finally. And it's a beautiful thing, really. Beautiful locomotives there. I like the, the advancement of, of the tech here. That's the express one. So these are really looking like almost like modern trains now. As opposed to the the older locomotives. And there's the freight one. The upgraded grasshopper. Finally a roof. And also very fast. Over 50 kilometers an hour now with the freighters too. This is hopefully leading to quite the jump here in my income. And yep, with all the innovations, we are at 740,000 right now per week. And this, once again, is something that I would like to use, this money, to continue purchasing shares of the general. Uh, let's make another 20%. So we're at 80% now. And also of Idris. He's still continuing to grow, by the way. So he's actually my bigger opponent. Oh my goodness, yep, that would be expensive. Let's go ahead with 10% share um, that we have. So 30% now and 80% with the general. Uh, and just look at that, right? The general is down here, and Idris is over here, and he's really expanding fast. So he's going also towards the Midwest now, Rocky uh, Rock Springs he is at the moment. Having his transportation. Beautiful landscape there, by the way, so... There we can see also see the Grand Canyon. Lovely details. And sold Lake City. Holy cow, I should have started here. This is looking so different to what I'm used to now. Hmm, the new paper mill I would like to use in Chicago, a city that just upgraded and it has an available slot now, so it's on its way to 100,000 already. And also, there is lumber, right? So Chicago always has a nice supply of lumber in. At the moment, four. And there's just plenty of coming in thanks to the road that we have in connection. Also, there's no real consumption of lumber yet. Let's go ahead. Um, if we want to unlock paper, there it is. In Chicago, it is unlocked by now. Um, in the other cities here, Grand Rapids, we would need... No, Grand Rapids has it as well now unlocked. And Toledo is still on its way. We need 80,000 citizens, but Toledo is growing at the moment um, towards 70, towards 80,000. So I can use this paper mill here. And I'm also curious, of course. Let's go ahead. Right now we have that available slot. Purchasing a business again to raise it, uh, to erase it is way more expensive. Let's have it beside the other factory that we have up there. And there it is, the paper mill producing now paper for the population. This of course will do lead to an increased consumption now. Oh, oil lamps. 
Uh, will be auctioned through your research. You receive a bonus of 10% for this auction. What is this? Increases the ticket prices of passengers. Of course I'm going ahead with this. No one is bidding on this? Really? I'm surprised. Thank you very much. For 580,000. We can speed up our research with that. Next up, we still have this vegetable farm over here. Norris, stop. That I kind of like forgot. <laughs> Like close to washing, washing originally needs vegetables, so I'm just going to make this a direct route, right? I'm not going to use root rest now as a buffer again. Um, for some reasons, it didn't work out that, that nicely last time. So we can just go ahead, try to get it to max speed here somewhere, and then over to that grid iron that we have and connect it with the main system, right? And from here, the train should then be able to just normally continue onwards on its journey and using the system that we already have. So let's go ahead, Norris stop to... There is a line already. Norris stop to root rest. Nope, not anymore. Norris stop to Washington DC. And doesn't matter what we use here. Here we just use the system that we already have in place. And in Washington, is there any platform that would still be somehow possible? Platform six, go ahead and do this. Getting just really busy in Washington. Where are we? By the way, we still have two tracks available. So I can still go crazy here if I want to. Alright, it's completing its tour right now without freight, but then it should continue with the vegetables. And let's just upgrade this, or purchase this one actually, Norris Farms there as well. And upgrade it at least Lucky once. You. Take it, because no one else wants it. There you go. And with that, we can also get us the pumpkins to Washington. And doesn't take long for Washington, uh, for Chicago also to reach 100,000. So once again, we do need to add a university to this area. Hmm, let's just see, somewhere here in the center. Yeah, let's have it a bit on the other side there. Fantastic, unfortunately, this is not looking great. So the game really doesn't, doesn't really know how to, to build that around these special buildings. I would have loved that. Uh, let's just pretend there is a plaza in front of it or a garden, university garden. And the city, of course, continues to grow now and will adjust itself hopefully with that now 100,000 how's the, how does paper get consumed right we got 12 paper here now i think the cities don't really consume that on, on their own right so later is now close to 80,000 it will unlock paper and the grand rapids has no paper yet let's just wait there a second because then we have 80,000 in toledo and there it is and with that we have paper now but there's no consumption or anything no idea where we would need paper, right? Doesn't seem to be any, any consumption for it. In neither, in neither in the city nor in any of my other productions, perhaps for chemicals, but that also wouldn't make sense. Uh, that's uh, another 15,000 citizens away. Producing paper now for chemicals later doesn't make sense. We'll just, we'll just keep the paper mill. It was the first one, though I'm a bit disappointed. No one needs paper, it seems. Not even toilet paper, those buggers. Now we continue in Chicago though, because I would like my uh, would like to continue my journey towards the west. For that, I will need to um, get us a few more tracks out here. The reason for that is, of course, there's going to be quite a few more trains now uh, from Chicago. So let's just connect all the remaining platforms here into one giant um, grid iron that we have. This one needs to go for now. And I think I will also need to delete the supply tower. There you go, look at that, that's massive, right? And we have this line there. This line is a bit tricky, it continues now more in the on these tracks here. Over here, just make a quick connection there so that the train can continue. They can still use their old platforms, right? Thanks to the grid iron, they just change to their platforms then, or uh, whatever they need. And then we have a bunch of tracks available again. So this one here, of course, needs to be connected again to the grid iron, so right to this one there. And then we got those two inner tracks here now. Actually, we got three tracks in the inner side, that is fine though, that go now towards the new cities that I want to, to use them. We got the new territory there, we got Rochester and Minneapolis, and I would like to move further to them. And then Fargo over there, a settlement that I intend to found. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead, we have them already in our system, so I can just go ahead now and get us a few more stations on the way. So that's Rochester. Um, 
Yeah, like this. Uh, by the way, Rochester will probably need the resources that we have on that side. So I'm actually trying to... This is strange though, right? But the game would adjust itself anyway. So let's build it within or looking towards the city. And then we got Minneapolis and I'm also going to make this one then somehow like that. But first, of course, as always, we need to lay the tracks first. We need to connect those ourselves. So that is number one. Just parallel to the already existing road. But I think the already existing road will vanish. Uh, we completely ignore Madison. And go right towards Chicago. Right towards that system there. Very good. Very cheap. No hills. No mountains. No water in between. Just flat country. And no problem with the building there too. There you go. And with that, we got Rochester connected. And then I would like to go ahead with Minneapolis over here. Once again, we just need to make really that tiny connection between the two. And call it a day. Parallel it is as well. Um, I might... No, I'm not doing anything yet. Uh, we're just going to get that gridiron on its way at the station. So we can do some a further expansion down the road then, as always. And this leads then to the massive uh, system that we have over there anyway. Let's just make sure that we also have those supply towers rather close to it then. I think this is not possible. This is possible. Perfect. So that we can use uh, quite a lot of trains then already on this. And directions of course. There you go. And this makes it possible now to have Minneapolis, Rochester and... Chicago. And here it's pretty important that we choose the right platform. So number three is not utilized at the moment. So we can use that system. And then of course Rochester on its way to oh Minneapolis is going to be did we look in within the city, right? Yep. Here I need to use platform two. And on our way back to Minneapolis, we need to choose platform one. Yeah. So that we have the right thing. And Minneapolis, we can actually choose platform one. Right hope. And this is going to be yeah, selected manually. We might actually have a mixed one for that. We have unlocked the mixed a locomotive, right? The limit. Why not? I haven't used it yet. The limit, a very good one for mixed traffic. Let's actually go ahead with two of them. Uh, your train line cannot perform any action at the station of Minneapolis. You should check the settings. What? Platform one. Mix is not working for this. Loading automatic. Now it's working. Alright, and here we do see then great new the, the great new locomotive. No weather protection for you, pal, sorry. You still belong to the olden days, but you got a, a state of the art mixed specialist into mixed transportation. Because of course we have some goods in those cities as well, like the beer, um, and over here the meat that we still want to get to other cities as well. And with that. We continue our journey towards the west. And then, in the next episode, we might actually look at founding a new city. Fargo. Stay tuned.